This is our 2005 1790 planter. It's a 1223. This particular planter is 1223 configuration, which means 12 rows of corn on 30 inch spacings. Then you have what they call interplant units, which are folded up here and here and across the rear, which drop down to make it 15 inch row spacings for soybeans. This particular planter is liquid fertilizer. It's an in-row system, or in furrow system as it's called, which comes out these blue tubes uh, here on the Keatons. Uh, this particular planter, every single row unit has a coulter on it, or a 13-wave coulter. And on the uh, corn row units, which are the 12, they have a Yetter residue manager on it. The purpose for this video will be to discuss the electronics and the meters and how they correlate to each other and because this is an earlier serial number, I'll show you what changes can be made to these planters and what to look out for if you're buying one similar. Okay, as I just mentioned, this planter is a 2005. Being a 2005, they came out with, I believe it's three monitor configurations. One of the monitor configurations available from the factory is what they call a 350 uh, monitor, which was nothing more than a monitor. You can see this plug right here up front in the wiring harness. And you can see where it adapts into this other wiring harness right there. You can also see it's the same on this other side. Rolls up in these wires, goes together, and there's a controller mounted right here. We actually mounted this controller on here. And bear in mind, this is a black controller. As I said, this was a 350 monitor as it came out of the factory. What John Deere sells is this adapter harness, which ties the two sides of the 350 monitor together and converts it over to this controller here, which ends up going through an ISO buzz system. Had this planter actually been Seed Star from the factory, it would have been Seed Star, I think, here, original Seed Star, or maybe even Seed Star 1, uh, whatever you want to call it. And that would have been a 4.5 volt system, which would have been compatible with like your brown box displays, which were used in your early like 8400 tractors. This controller and this wiring harness that ties the 2350 monitor, original harnesses together, is a kit sold by John Deere. And I'm going to put up next a picture, and if you can pause your video, you can see the picture, as to what color display is compatible with each display. So, for example, this black one is compatible with 2630s and 4640 John Deere monitors. A green controller box would only be compatible with 2600 or 2630s. So depending on which display you want to run your tractor cab will dictate uh, which controller you need on your planter. And I've covered that in another earlier video. On the rear of the planter, right up here, I'm going to zoom in on it, you see this John Deere Green Star rate controller. That's a separate system. What that does is run the clutches. And that has a wiring harness coming off of it, as you can see at the bottom, which goes up and ends up tying into that ISO plug, which is the same plug-in that runs that controller I was just showing. We use this planter with a 4640 display platform. Uh, now we're looking at the meters here on this. So on our meters, we have our cable that operates and runs the meter. Then we have our little right angle driver that drives the meter disc in here. And on this side, we have aglier clutches and this little solenoid pack. It's the same door as it is factory, but it's, instead of being just a door, it has a solenoid on here. Now what these solenoids do is they push outward like that, and it goes up against a disc here, and it blocks the air so it kills the vacuum so that the seed cannot be delivered down the chute. So it stops it from planting. So every single row has a, a solenoid clutch on it. And this recess cutout has this little flap pushes out. They also changed the brush configurations. And they came out with what's called the Pro 40 disc. The Pro 40 Max units were a better unit than the earlier version, uh, versions just through the double limiter. And the way they changed it for seed delivery just eliminates doubles and triples. Uh, this is fine for soybeans, but it's a, it's a poor planter for corn unless you have really sized corn in a very perfect vacuum seal is the only way you'll get a good stand with it. What you guys just saw there in that two photos were the Pro 40 uh, Max unit, a little bit later uh, unit.
this particular planter we actually are going to change out this entire assembly to another used assembly that we found on the internet uh, pretty cheap it is the pro 40 so we'll be running pro 40 discs and pro 40 units in this next year another alternative to that would be the precision e sets letter e not v they do have a v set and they also make an e set the v set is a, a factory uh, or the e set is a factory uh, vacuum system uh, meter for these planters the e set is an electronic unit but as my understanding of it is is when you change over to the e sets or electric drives you eliminate your cable drive but at that point you're committed to using the 2020 seed monitor so you'll no longer be able to pipe it through your john deere uh, display one of the reasons we are going to the uh, pro max 40s is just for cost and we can also continue to use our same lids with our same shutoff system now this particular machine, when it shuts off, these activate, these uh, solenoids activate. And when they activate, they, uh, like I said, they kill the uh, vacuum. Uh, what happens though, is because there's no correlation between this and this, this is being run off of a ground drive system, or if it had the hydraulic drive, it'd be run off of that. And it's running through your ISO bus display as a seed monitor. This thing here, is being controlled by your rate controller which I showed is located on the rear of the machine. So this still turns and this kills the seed. So all of a sudden the seed quits dropping down the chute the monitor will start beeping at you because it says hey I'm not planting even though the rate controller knows that you're overlapping and knows to shut the seed off. So you have to live with a certain degree of beeping on your monitor and actually understand and know what your planter is doing this been a later serial number planner like a 2012 and up with a factory integrated controller which that controller would not be located up front it'd be on an entirely separate wiring harness located in the rear and this here would come into a unit that looks like this but it has a round motor that sticks out with a plug-in receptacle what that plug-in receptacle is is it shuts this driver off and it also cancels out the um, beeping so it says hey I, I did shut you off there won't be any seeds that's about a 2012 model uh, planner, and that's when you're getting into a vintage that's a little bit more user-friendly, we'll call it. Because at that point, you're no longer having to combine two electrical systems or modify a current system. You're actually with a factory integrated system through one wiring artist. And yes, you can put that on this planner, but it's about $35,000 just for the wiring. So by combining a 350 monitor adapter harness, an ag leader clutch, and a John Deere rate controller, we're actually able to pipe everything through one ISO bus plug-in on this, but we have to have two run pages on our 4640 display, one page devoted to the planner, another page devoted to the rate controller. Uh, I don't believe, from what I understand, unless you run a split screen in your tractor cab, which would be called an extended monitor, that you can run two virtual terminal displays on the same uh, page. You'd have to have separate pages or you have to have separate screens. Another option for this planner, uh, if you did want to spend the money, you could buy those ESET meters I was talking about as a, as a whole. You could buy the whole meter. You could buy the John Deere unit here with the motor on it and the plug-in. And what you could do would be adapt your rate controller harness here to that plug-in just to control this, but you'd also still be left with the original wiring harness for the sensors, the seed drop sensors, so you'd be back to the beeping. Uh, the other alternatives, like I said, you could change this over to the all-new wiring harness, but at that point, you'd actually probably be cheaper to trade to a newer planner. And another alternative, they do sell the exact Emerge conversion kit for these older planners. Uh, you strip your toolbar down, you pull the new exact Emerge uh, row units and hardware on it and make it into a new planner again. So if you're looking at a 1790 planner, uh, this is something I learned the hard way. Uh, go ahead and comment or comment below or even ask me. If you wander into one of these planners blindly, you can end up costing yourself a lot of money. Had this had the original Seedstar version with a 4.5 volt can system, then you went to hook it up to a new, say, 8R tractor with a, with a uh, Gen 4 display in it, you would have an electrical nightmare. It wouldn't even be a compatible system. You run 2.5V versus 4.5V, uh, nothing would, would jive. And you'd probably cost yourself another 20000 just getting it hooked up. So for us, this works well. Uh, the only thing that's a drawback on this planter, as I mentioned, is 
these older meters for the uh, corn, the selected corn, which we'll be changing that over, like I say, to the uh, Pro Max 40s, which would be a much later and improved version unit. And if you've ever watched any of my old videos, we had a, a DB60 planner for a while, and the DB60 used the Pro 40 disc. It actually did a very, very nice stand of corn. So no complaints with that unit, the later unit, and they will continue running our same electronics on here. The uh, Pro 40s, they were they were just quite a bit improved the way that they would operate. These these units here actually tend to uh, even lose vacuum on hillsides depending if the seed's laying on the plate or laying against the plate. So if it's leaning up like this, it'll fall away from the plate prematurely, which will cause a lot of skips. So you really, again, you really gotta pay attention to your vac on these uh, particular units. In addition to that, there are some improved new kits coming out all the time. There's some kits for active down pressure, and there's also some other kits that come out that are a uh, uh, Fat Max tire kit, uh, which goes in a replacement for the original tires. Actually, they replace this whole wheel frame because the tire is taller, uh, which helps spread out the weight. So this is an older planter. It's a pretty cheap planter. Luckily, I had enough knowledge of it to make it work for the configuration we're wanting it to make it work for, meaning the monitors and electrical hookups, as well as the residue managers. But we did wander into it a little bit blind, and I don't think that many people out there looking would quite know what to look for in a U1790. So, like I said, put in the comments below if you have any questions. But if you are looking to buy and you're looking to spend a little bit of money, don't spend 50000 on an 08 or an 07. That's got the older system. Go ahead and buy that 2012 one up, which are hard to find, but you'll be a lot happier with that new style driving unit and integrated wiring harness.